Welcome to The Big Question, a series from Euronews where we discuss some of the most important topics on the business agenda. I'm Angela Vance and today I'm joined by Christoph Evtop from the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. Christoph, thank you very much for joining us on the show. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you very much for having me. Well, Christoph, so a big part of UNIDO's work is focusing on the UN Sustainable Development Goal, of course. And goal nine is a big part of that, which for those who don't know, is build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster innovation. And Christoph, a sustainable industrialization, it, it always feels like a, a, a bit of an oxymoron. How do you envisage the balance? So in the past, we, we know that uh, industrialization has all, also had uh, a very strong footprint on the environment. At the same time, we are now in uh, industrial civilization. Everything around us uh, is industrial. We all benefit from the services and products that are created every day. Now the big uh, challenge is to make sure that everything that is produced has the less impact on the environment. We have seen through uh, what we call the circular economy that we can make sure we avoid waste and we can uh, make sure that uh, even the word waste should be uh, eliminated from, from the vocabulary because waste doesn't exist. It's only a raw material that you, you don't use. You haven't, you haven't found the way to use a raw material. So we, we could utilize all the material more efficiently. We are one of the promoters of circular economy around the world. And we see not only that it decreased the cost of production, but also you create new jobs because instead of uh, wasting or throwing away raw material, you, you use it, you create new industries on, the, on this basis. And this is really something that is profitable for everyone. Interesting because there have been criticisms that achieving some of the more economic industrial goals will prevent the ability to achieve emissions or ecological goals. Is each goal given the same importance focus, do you think, and should they be given the same level? I mean, uh, all those are big challenges. Yes. And uh, for sure, you have uh, maybe some uh, SDGs w which will be the consequence uh, of others. Let me make an, a, cre a clear example. In SDG 9, we have an inclusive and sustainable industrialization. It means, for example, I was posted five years in Senegal, in Africa. So most of the uh, products, fruit or vegetables, for example, that are produced, a part of them are lost in the way, with what we call the post-harvest losses. And also they are most of the time sold without any local transformation. I mean, if we would work to add more value on the ground, train the people, have the machinery to uh, transform the fruit in fruit juice and uh, all those uh, agricultural products, that could create more many jobs. Many jobs mean that you would have any direct impact on goal one, on poverty, goal two, on hunger. Uh, many times women are those working in those activities, so it will be goal uh, uh, four on the equality. If you uh, do uh, utilize uh, machinery that is uh, more resource efficient. Uh, you can also contribute to, the, to all the goals related to the environment. What we recommend is to inv invest more on industry because industry can have a, a big impact on the other goals. What we have seen also with the new report is that every time that you have more industry in the uh, GDP or in the wealth of a country, you have quasi automatically more human development. It means more access to education, more access to health services, uh, more life expectancy, more equality between men and women. So you have a direct impact on social goals, on human goals. There's an estimated $4 billion funding gap to achieve all the SDGs. Where can this money come from to make this happen? There's a lot of money, more than we think. And uh, if well invested, we think that uh, we can really leverage uh, all the society toward the, this goal. Of course, well, the effort made in some part needs to be made uh, also globally. Otherwise, uh, what we see, private sector complain sometimes that they have uh, many 
uh, uh, rules to uh, comply with and maybe uh, uh, their competitors uh, don't have that so it's very important to make sure we have a global playing field. There's a lot of money that is uh, now uh, invested. You see the IRA, Inflation Reduction Act in the US. You've seen the big uh, plan, uh, recovery plan of, the, of Europe, 750 billion to invest in new technologies, in climate uh, friendly uh, technologies. But you see there's a need for more solidarity because uh, most of the countries of the world through the COVID-19 crisis, they've been more indebted, they are more in suffering than before, and we need a solidarity because if we fight climate in Europe or the US or China is very good, but if we don't do it in the rest of the world, we are not going to make progress. Do you think that there is more support in place now for poorer countries? At the moment, many countries are looking more inward than outward. One of the mega trend that we have seen in the last 30 years is that, for example, the US and Europe. So there's a strong move now to re-industrialize. What we believe is that while this is uh, legitimate, because people need jobs also here, is that many of those resources are in the global south. I think countries should think more how to co-industrialize. The re-industrialization of the north cannot happen without the resources that are in the south. So now, how to build this partnership, win-win partnership, where those having the resources share them, but also they keep also a part of the, the wealth uh, to create jobs so that people see that, okay, they trade their resources, but they see also improvements in their everyday life, that people have jobs, people are more prosperous, and this is what they are looking for. And Christoph, finally, if you had to summarize one key thing that we need to get right uh, that could unlock big change across Europe and across the globe for sustainable development goals, what would that be? First, we need to really support industry because without industry, you don't have human development and prosperity. Second, we need, of course, this industry fueled by sustainable energy. Without energy and sustainable energy, we will never reach our goal in terms of climate. Christoph, thank you very much for your insights. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for joining us on The Big Question. Thank you very much. Thank you.